liked, then uh, what did you not like? Um, I'd like to put some points on the board. Um, I thought our quarterback played really well. And, um, I thought we had some running backs that did some good things other, other than Bobby that uh, really helped us in. Uh, more importantly, the guys went out there and they competed, you know, and we got a winner out of the game. So um, I, was, I was excited to see that, and more than anything, just showing those guys, you know, you look at those sidelines. One sideline was upbeat and, and ready to go the entire game. The other sideline wasn't, and, and I think that's a big part of it, and which gets gets our guys down. And the red team was more like it used to be, and the white team was more where we're trying to go. So um, just trying to teach those guys in those situations. You can't get down. you got to keep coming and keep playing and keep fighting. And it, um, It'll break here sooner or later, and it started too for the red team there at the end. Just ran out of time. Was it a surprise at all the way the white team was able to kind of come out as as, as well as they did? Yeah, the it was. Um, I, I thought it was um, evenly uh, matched football game, and I thought it would be a lot closer. But uh, just, I think uh, the white team had a little more purpose in this game. And you just watched them all week when they practiced. Uh, they took it serious. You know, they met. They was in a meeting, and um, they really wanted to win this ball game, and, and it paid off for them. K1 named MVP uh, seemed like he uh, played pretty well, possibly his best performance of the spring today. Yeah, he, he, he stepped up. Um, that's what we expect for our quarterback to do for us. And um, he stepped up and, and played. But I thought from a leadership standpoint, he did some really good things um, of building his teammates up. In, in the huddle, you can constantly hear him telling guys, let's go, um, good job. We want to celebrate with him. You know, he was just a totally different person than what he's been. And, and he played better by being a different person and having a lot of energy. So, um but he went out and made some really good throws, and which got the uh, white team down the field and, and put up some points. You guys went into camp uh, basically saying that you know, K1 was the returning starter, and that it was a competition. Do you feel like K1 acted like it and uh, performed that way, especially today, closing out? Yeah, he did. He did. Um, I would say he probably solidified it right now. Um, but he still got to work. You know, he still got to go through the summer. But he he stepped up and, and he stepped up to the challenge. You know, and throughout spring ball and. Wasn't rattled and just kept playing, and I think it actually helped him having some competition and having somebody that he can go out there and compete with, knowing that Brandon was going to give him his best. And uh, I actually think that made K1 better and letting him know that he can't slip up. So, uh, but that was really good to see him come out here and, and do the things that he did in this ball game. Brandon seemed like he struggled a little bit today, and I saw at one point later in the second half that you kind of pulled him aside after a fourth down. I mean, what did you say to him there? And just, you know, what uh, what does he need to work on uh, during the summer, to, I guess, to get himself in, in a better position to maybe compete with K-1? Well, Brandon's got to learn the offense a lot better. Uh, when Brandon gets in trouble, he don't know where his outlets are right now, and, and that's what got him in trouble a lot. And, and then he, um, he panics and, and, and makes some bad throws and bad decisions. Um, so a big part of it is just continue to learn the offense and, and knowing where you have outlets, you know, and um, continue to compete, and I think he will. Uh, Brandon's one of those guys. He's not going to give up just just because of this, this scrimmage. But um, see, when I pulled him aside, I just told him, hey, that happens. Get on the sideline. Bring your teammates up. Show them that you're not down. Show them that you're still ready to come back and, and make a play. And um, there's little things that he's, he has to learn, you know. He's made a lot of freshman mistakes out there, and um, sometimes – Again, calling plays that wasn't supposed to be called, you know, just being a freshman.